Okay, it's uh, 5.02 p.m. and I've got an appointment at 5.30 downtown. Um, so I need to hurry up and get out of here. Um, I just drove by my neighbor faster than I wish I had. I wish I hadn't drove by that quick. I feel kind of like a dirt bag. But I've got to gotta get to this appointment. Um, so what I'm doing on this appointment gonna go look at a house I've got one of my investors uh, meeting with them Friday to do a bid on a cash now purchase and uh, if he can put a deal together with them that's that's good that's good because he'll rehab the loan resell it stuff like that there's some great sales in the neighborhood so I'm going to meet with her to let her know what I might be able to do on the market so what I might be able to do on the market with an as-is sale, and then she'll compare the numbers with the investor's bid tomorrow and my numbers, and then decide which direction she wants to go. A lot of times, people go on the market with me, and I don't mind that, of course, but I don't always think with all the stuff that's involved with an as-is sell I don't always think that's the best option for people uh, but that's that's just me like I would I would much rather do a quick as-is sell to an investor in my opinion than going on the market but people you know looking back I think a majority of people always put their houses up for sale shoot I'm so glad that person wasn't making a u-turn I would have been totally at fault for that if that person had been making a u-turn now I hope this person isn't going straight man five o'clock traffic I've got to get across town I've got to get down to Classen and Western so I'm gonna be pressing time but um at the same time, too, I'm trying to get this lady pre-approved with her bank because she got pre-approved on those online job sites. And those online job sites, they they don't always give true pre-approval letters, uh, online approval letters. So I wasn't able to do that today. I'm disappointed. I was hoping I'd be able to do that. But I'm working on it. And then after that, I've got to show some customers three houses at 7 o'clock, 7.20, and 7.45. Then I'll go take care of the dogs. Then I'll go home. Tomorrow I've got a closing. You know, God's amazing. Got another closing this week. And I just got two amazing reviews from some past customers. And those things are just awesome. I just really appreciate reviews. And and this was an amazing, well thought out review. It was just, it was just so cool. I, I, I do feel good when I get those reviews. I feel super warm and fuzzy on the inside. It's a green light and this person's like not going like it's a green light. Like push the gas, people. Um, so yeah, that's it. I have been catching up on files and emails today. Handling new business in between. Got an offer on the house in Yukon, super stoked about. And now I've got to go to 5.30. Okay, I'm going to call that person right now and tell them about the offer because I completely slipped my mind when I was working on the other things. I'll see you guys on the next clip. Okay, guys. I haven't brought you on a showing in a while. So uh, I wanted to get you in this house to take a look at it. Check it out right there. Look, they got new vinyl windows. That's awesome. My appointment is right behind me. And look at this street. This is an awesome street. Look at that street is that not an awesome street that's an awesome street let's get in here get it open my appointment is right behind me uh, there was some traffic uh, Paula's on vacation and that and Tracy's uh, still um, taking care of what Tracy's taking care of so man it has been non-stop real estate non-stop real estate just craziness so let's uh get in this house right now oh man gotta use the good old super app 
If you guys love the super app, let's click the oops, I don't want to open a shackle. Let's go back and let's get that off. Um there we go. I want to obtain the key. So put in my code and then it automatically starts. I push the bottom of that already. And look, I'm already in. Already in. So let's get that key out real quick. Oh look, the neighbors are leaving. That's they're probably like, who's that crazy guy with the camera? Um Hopefully there's no uh, alarm. And it's supposed to be vacant, so I hope it is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if the key's working. Ah, there we go. It worked. Hello, hello, hello! Oh, wow. Okay, I see what she's talking about being a really nice home, and they've done a lot of work to it. So let's get on all these lights real quick. And, uh... What's that about? Why'd they cut that? That was that was silly. Uh, looks like they need to finish doing a lot of work. All right, let's uh, let's go through here. Oh, the customer just showed up. There they are, right there. So uh, let's uh, let's get these lights on real quick. And then as soon as they come in, I'll turn this off so that um, so they're not weirded out. Oh wow, it needs a lot of finishing. I guess they. Just haven't done everything. So we'll have to make note of all these finishes that are needed um, in the contract because I'd hate for the buyer to be left with all this work to do. I wonder if this is the master. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. So it looks like they took out uh, some of the attic here and did this. Okay, wow. Okay, they're coming. Come on in, guys! Okay, so I, I had to go out to the car and get a pin. Usually I have a pin right here and I don't. I've got to make a note of all the stuff that needs to be finished on this place. So that when we write the contract, we'll be able to note all that stuff. Let's go take a look at the outside. Um, I wish I could have taken you with me when I shut down that house, but another showing showed up. That house has only been on the market eight days. I want to help the lady write an offer, write a winning offer, but at the same time, too, I'm waiting for her lender to give me an answer. So, ah, I, I let it be up to them. I let it be up to them. I say, hey, I'll write the offer for you if you want, but we really need to know that from your lender. I don't want you to get too invested in this house and not have the answer that we're looking for from your lender. But, um, ah, I just, uh, I just, uh, man, I just wish... I wish I already had that answer. I don't want them to miss out on this house, but at the same time, too, if the lender's answer doesn't answer it the way we want them to answer, then there's no reason to even be looking at houses right now because we're so close. Ah, real estate, right? Real estate? Um, what would you guys do if you're waiting for an answer from a lender? Would you write the offer? Or would you or would you wait? I'm gonna I, I, I recommend they waited. I recommend they waited, but I told them it's up to you. It's up to you to make that decision. Okay. Um, I was able to push my seven o'clock back, luckily, um, because that showing took a lot longer than I was expecting. Um, and they were okay with pushing it back, so I'm going over there to meet my seven o'clock at seven twenty right now. This is so crazy. I'm showing that house right there see it that's the house I'm showing my customers aren't here yet and do you see that house where the white car is right down there see that house I sold that house two years ago that's how small real estate is stuff like that happens all the time when you've been in the business for a little while uh, stuff happens like that all the time okay um, they liked it great house spring book i love that neighborhood um they like it i've got to go run some comps and uh get some gas i've got to get some gas first and then uh feed the dogs run some comps and then let them know where i think we're at on it northwest raceway busy as always Busy as always. I am spinning around right here on Northwest 
raceway. Because I want to wash my hands, get some gas, and uh, call the missus. Full, it's 8.48. Man, working late, working late. 8.48. 8.48. I'm going to go up to 7-Eleven. This on cue is nice right here, but I'm going to go ahead and go up to 7-Eleven because the on cue, in my opinion, will be more busy than the 7-Eleven because the on cue is prior to the 7-Eleven. So therefore, more people will have already stopped at on cue than the 7-Eleven, and that's why the 7-Eleven will be less busy.